Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in Morgan Hill, California, at the local courthouse with Anthony X and Angry Vet audits not to be confused with the angry vet that's an entirely different channel at any rate they end up getting booted out of the courthouse and well the doors get locked so let's go ahead and sit back relax and enjoy the show did i get your name man you're welcome you're welcome that education is on the house hey how you guys doing hello hey. how you guys doing good yeah. Uh, kind of like a TV show or something, or <laughs> yeah, whoever picks, picks it up, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> trying to get signed on for a uh, Netflix show. Yeah, we usually have a guy come out here and, and read a statement out here when he's when okay. recording. Is he part of your group? Uh, I'm just myself. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah, what do you guys? Well, at this point, all they do is stand around and chit chat for a number of minutes until the real stuff happens so let's go ahead and go over that scene right quick shall we roll that beautiful bean footage a little longer than a few minutes later uh, oh man I got it. handicap people can just press the door why is that uh, no, I can't take him. No, why is uh, no, no you gotta take him outside well, no no come on take him outside or you're gonna go to jail one or the other because it's court policy, you can't photograph policy inside. Order. No, it's a court policy. You, can, order. you can't take it's my orders. Listen, you can't listen. You, you got to show us the policy because no, no, no. that's against take, the, it's take against the Constitution. Take order. him outside. You can't bring him in. You can't record in here. Is it a judge's you, order? You can't record. Is in it here. a judge's order? Is that a hard question? Take him you? outside. I'm not. I'm not inside, sir. Take your. You he's inside. Outside. I just want to see the policy. No, no. Take him outside. Okay, uh, can you chowder heads? Tell me exactly where it says that you can film inside of a courthouse. Don't tell me it's the First Amendment because we all know that it doesn't exactly say that because it mainly says freedom of the press, which doesn't mean that uh, you can go anywhere, anytime as a member of the press. No, that doesn't mean that at all. Freedom of religion, freedom to assemble, freedom to address your grievances with the government, and freedom of speech, which even with that, there are still limitations and still consequences no matter what you say. So, dude, there are consequences to your actions no matter what. Take him outside. Go outside. Outside. Take him outside. Take him outside. Take him outside. You got to go outside. Right. You know that go our, our, go our outside. Don't rights. push me. Go outside. I'm outside. Okay, right. close the doors. I don't have to close the door. That's not for you. Yeah, just get out. Hello. Take, Hello. This guy's Take him outside. Yeah. He's, okay. he's Take him outside. He's Take him outside. Can we slow down a roll? Yeah. You want to come in, you can come in, but you can't bring the cameras or you're photographing. Are you we need to see the... You didn't see the, the court policy. The Why are you slamming the door on me, man? Get your foot out of the way. Hey, close the door. Easy. Get your foot out of the way. It's okay. Yeah, slow your we roll, just guys. want to see the you're policy have a heart attack, that brother. says we can't record in here. Sure. No, you're not going to see the policy by sticking your foot in the door or anything like that. I mean, if you really want to see the policy, all you got to do is look it up online. I mean, good grief. I have see, found so many uh, courtroom policies on the internet regarding California and many other states. It's easy to do. You just got to take some time to do it. Uh, let your fingers do the walking. It's the judge it order. It is secourts.org. Yeah. You can look at it. No, I want to see it on paper. Where, where do you have it posted? You need to have it posted to inform the public. Right now. You don't have internet. The Constitution but... gives you freedom okay. to film in any public building. And, and if it's a courthouse, there no, needs to be the, the order from the judge needs to be that. posted so the yeah, public can see it. You tools, can't just so make up know. stuff and do it willy nilly. But frauditor, isn't that what you do all the time? I mean, pull stuff out of your ass and say it's uh, the law when it's actually not? Do it by the books, right? Penal code 148G says we can record law enforcement during the capacity of their duties. How can I record you, can't you guys? Do that I'm not talking to you. You're, you're dismissed. Well, wow, you dipshits really need to learn uh, reading and how to interpret the words that are on the paper. If you actually read it, you will still say public places right here. A courthouse is not a public place. It is a non-public forum, dumbass, and and is subject 
to the judge's ruling on whether or not you can film in that particular courthouse. So get over it, dude. You don't have a clue what's going on here. You've been aggressive. You're up there slamming the door. Can't do that side of the courthouse. So again, 148G says we can record. Not inside this court building. And a constitutional. I'm working on a story. So if I'm working out there and I'm Well, no, let me just explain this. Let me explain this. I'm a member of the press. Okay. I'm working on a constitutionally protected activity, freedom of press. Can't do that. Are you saying the judge is making an order that's unconstitutional? It is. is this Nazi Germany, Germany back in old days? Are you from Nazi Germany, Germany back in old days? It's, it's a constitutional. Oh boy, reducio ad Hitlerum fallacy. If you have to go on the uh, narrative of Nazi Germany, then you have essentially lost the argument to begin with because you have no freaking clue how bad it got in Nazi Germany. The freedoms that we enjoy now, you would not have gotten in Nazi Germany at all, you douchebag. So just because a judge is thinking more about the uh, attorney-client privilege uh, issue or anything else like security doesn't mean that they are automatically a Nazi, you dumbass. So wow. You can read on it. I, I don't portable. have access to the website. You're supposed to have it posted. The last thing you would want to do is have send you to the magistrate. Do you have your ID card now? ID card? This yeah. is my last you're name. No, you're yeah, employee ID, ID card. 1046.2.1. Okay, sure. sure. Now, can I see it, please? We'll ask you nicely. I'm outside. I'm outside. I'm outside. You can be outside, but we need to close the door. Yeah. There's no because wall that says I have to close the door. Yeah. yeah Unless yeah. you have official business there. I do. There. I have this to, is it's also you know, vehicle 647 H. So you're loitering in a public area. This is loitering. official business. When you right don't here. have any official Ma'am, business, you do not have you an official business. You may want to look up business. what the definition yeah. of loitering is. What is the official business here, let me, sir? Let me explain this. What I'm, is your official business? I'm trying to answer you, but you don't, you don't stop talking. What is the answer? Go ahead. So loitering is when What is your official business in court right now? You don't have a purpose. I have a purpose. You have an in this what is it? I'm sir? not required to tell Are you. you. Trying to go to well, there lies the dilemma. According to your own definition, it's somebody who's there without a purpose. And if you can't state your purpose because of reasons, then you are essentially loitering. So move along home. Move along home, or they'll move you home. The clerk's office. I'm is not closed. required to tell you. Okay. Yes, you are. If and ma'am, answer, if you were listening, we I told you I was working on a story. Purposes. I told you I was working you on a story. Have an official business I in this am courthouse. working on a story. That's my official what business. What is your story? I don't have to tell you that. Okay. Where is your official press? Workplace. Ma'am, do you actually think that a pair of mentally deficient frauditors would have the capacity to uh, be able to figure out that press passes are issued by certain agencies throughout the country and that... Uh, professional members of the press actually carry them around so they can actually do their jobs and not argue with everybody in their path. I mean, that's only natural because a true real member of the press is not going to stand there and argue with these people. Where can I get, where can I get a press pass? Where, your, where is your where press pass? Where can I get one? Where can I get one? You tell me, sir. So you're, the, you're so saying the, you're a so member sir, of the press. Ma'am. You're saying you're a member of the press. Where is your press you. pass? Let me answer you. Do you have any official DMV, business in this courthouse? You get a driver's license. Where do you get a press pass? What government agency issues that? You tell me. They don't exist. Yeah, they How don't. How do they not exist? In the Constitution. <laughs> How do they the First not Amendment. What are you trying to enforce? You don't even know the law. Are you not aware of the First Amendment? You don't even know you have to present your ID wrong. card for your policy I'll give you to a member of the public? Right now if, you, if they exist. Okay. That a judge's order okay. for you not filming in the courthouse needs to be posted yes. for the public to yes, see? I, I ask you something, dude. Uh, if there's no such thing as press passes, then why is it whenever I asked about press passes online that I got a list from the U.S. Supreme Court of those members of the press that have a press pass to go visit the Supreme Court? Can you tell me that? Can you? No, you can't because you're speaking from an outlet of ignorance at this point, dude. So shut your damn pie hole if you don't know what the hell you're talking about. Yes, I do. Your answer is yes. Okay, what is it? I already told you. What is it? Again, I'm going to say it for the last time, so pay attention. What story is it that you're No, no, you didn't ask me what story. story. You asked me my, what my business Sir, is. Sir, I'm going to ask my you one business last time. Is working, we'll take it outside. My Let's business the is now working on you're... a story. Ma'am, you're being disorderly. I am not being disorderly. Why are you, you're you're right. impeding me from working on my story. You know no. that's a civil rights violation. We are taking it out. Well, someone who's still talking about civil rights in this way obviously doesn't know what civil rights are uh, all about. It's about equal treatment under the law, given your uh, sex, age, religion, uh, race, whatever. I mean, it's not about the freedom of the press, you Dumbass. Wow, you are just so incredibly stupid, aren't you?
Outside, I'm here outside. With I'd you. like to see you try to fucking push me, brother. See, now try you're it. just try it. You gotta close the door. You're just try inciting it. something. No, you just I bumped into me. You could have walked through here. Not, All that space, you you just Let's bumped into me. Outside. If I were to bump no, into you, I would be in cuffs right now. Come on. Okay. Treat the public with the same respect the public treats you, right? Okay, going by your logic right about this point, you want them to treat you the way you've been treating them. So why don't we go out on them here and say, well, dude, they've been treating you a lot better than you've been treating them. They've been talking respectfully to you. You've been talking disrespectfully. They've been doing nothing but cordial to you. You've been trying to barge your way into this place. Maybe they should barge uh, into the your houses and you see how you like it. Take this outside. We are willing to talk to you out here. Just don't go outside. enter the building. I could, I'm outside. I could talk to you fine. Let's close the door. What's the law that says I have to if you want to give, If you want to get that judge's order that says no recording, like we want to read it and sure. look over it. Can you're you dismissed, give that, brother. You're dismissed. Can you ask the manager for the printout? At least this guy has his that. camera on. You're the only one with your camera on. Our camera is on. Well, his wasn't. Our camera is His wasn't. He already said it wasn't. Our cameras are on. Excuse me, officer. Can you identify yourself? Sure. Deputy. Deputy Dempsey, Batch 1921. Okay, are, do you have a copy of the court order that says Dempsey, no filming? Dempsey, can you ask the from manager the judge? for a, a printout of the court ruling? The, the court order, order the from the judge. Order or, says judge's we order. We can't exercise our constitutional rights here. Oh, what are we looking for? The judge's order that says we can't exercise our constitutional rights. The court order for You're doing your no side, you I'm talking to the supervisor. Okay. You're dismissed. You're photographing out there. It's fine. You're dismissed. So we're going to... You're dismissed. You're dismissed. No recording. We're locking it up. Time to lock up the building. You guys, you guys got cameras up there? Are you guys breaking the law? What's those cameras up there for? You do not, and you're recording me. Doesn't the courthouse close at five? There. You don't have my permission yeah. to record. Close at five. So it's four forty-two right now. Yeah, well, we can talk to you. I'm locking the doors. We can talk to you. Oh, okay. poor little baby, locking the door. Okay. <laughs> if, you're, if you're locking all the doors of the public, I'll give that. Yeah. So you're going to you're gonna early close early the courthouse to the public. The public service, huh? Well, no, you want service? Because you're throwing it. Yeah, I'm you trying, trying, I'm trying you, to get you, service. What kind yeah. of service do you want? I'm trying to... Well, now that's the way to deal with it. Just lock the damn doors and get rid of them. Because, well, if they don't care about attorney-client privilege or security or anything like that, you might as well just boot them out the door and kick, lock it up behind you. But unfortunately, those people who probably need the actual services of the courthouse will also be locked out of the door. But you know what? Just blame the frauditors. It's all their fault for being butter brain douche canoes. Finish my story. What is your serv? What do you mean? You, you got a ticket? You got a criminal finish. matter? I'm trying. Do you have a dependency I matter? I almost have a criminal what do you matter have? when you assaulted him. What do you have? I'm trying you to don't have my a story. Deal. That's my official business. Okay, you don't. You don't have any official. You understand? Business. I don't need permission to work on my constitutional rights. You can work on them. Work on them out here. It's not the, the second. Or third. It's the first it's amendment. You're gonna want to do do you not understand the first amendment? Do you not understand the first amendment? We're going to give you a copy right now of, of the unconstitutional judge's order, yeah. like it's Nazi Germany. Well, um, whatever you want. So you guys swore an oath to the Constitution, and just because they signed it, if the judge signed an order saying no black people. Are you going to stop black people from the coming judge? in? judge? No. Well, another fallacy down. A false equivalency fallacy. That would actually be a civil rights violation. What they're doing right now is not a civil rights violation. Because if they were not to allow black people in, then that would constitute a civil rights violation according to the color of law. Something that you guys just don't seem to understand. But let's continue on. Oh, absolutely not. The judge can make order regarding the So when you get the judge's order and it says in the courtrooms and the adjoining area, that's this that's not this area. This is the lobby. No, it's not. Well, I am just going to end it here because for the next 15 to 20 minutes, they stand around and whine and cry about how they can't go in there. The police show up and they still are barred from entry. Well, that's a good thing because at least uh, the rules are protected in that courthouse. I mean, you got attorney client privilege and security issues like that, but which these douchebags just don't seem to realize. Well, at any rate, folks, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. And I will see you on the next one.